What is up my Urge of Bagels and welcome to some Call of Duty Modern Warfare gameplay. So today guys what I want to talk to you all about is the Season 4 leaks. So in this little clip that I'll show you here now. We see in this clip that in the background we actually see that 21 is on the bunker now this is in military base meaning that bunker 11 is behind them in the distance now if we actually look at the start of the clip we see a plane in the sky flying over some smoke and this smoke is actually coming from bunker 11 and i'll show what i mean right now and what does bunker 11 have they have the nukes now we already know that the nukes are going to play a big part or the launch codes are going to be playing a big part in the verdance warzone easter egg or story or whatever you want to call it so i think we could see maybe like armistice fight alcatala forces for the nuclear warheads and maybe the operators that have been sent in to kind of clean up the mess and everything because armistice is just falling apart could be gas price and another operator that leads me to question then have armistice won the battle for bunker 11 stopping global thermonuclear war from happening and i mean that's what it kind of looks like to me also a lot of people especially on reddit have pointed out in the background that there are actually three people jumping from a plane which is leading people to think that duos are coming in season four. So two people jump first and then not long after another person jumps. So we we could see duos coming to Warzone finally. Now everyone and their grandmother or mother wants duos to be in the game. And really and truly duos should have been in Warzone from the get go. However, I'm not sure if this is the case. Now, of course, they did do this with quads as well, which does kind of reinforce that this is duos, which I'd like to come to the game. And it would be fun to have in the game because I hope it is a sign that duos is coming in season four because it'll be season four is meant to be the kind of the most ambitious and great one of all the seasons that means raid shadow legends is coming in season four the most ambitious rpg mmo league of legends starcraft 2 game of the century yeah i don't i don't know what happened there so the leak on reddit is actually pretty massive and we talked about the galil coming to modern warfare in a previous video and captain price is actually holding this weapon in the story so far video that i also uploaded to my channel but i will show you here now as well just an image so with the galil this will bring attachments with it of course every gun in modern warfare you can put attachments on so the attachments will be light barrel will have fss 11.8 inch a squall which sadly we don't have any description or anything to go along with this in the short barrel section we will have fss 8.3 intruder which is a short compact barrel that sacrifices accuracy and range for speed and agility excels in cqb and room clearing so this detachment is for more running and gunning for people who are actually good at the game and actually don't camp so if you're in qu close quarters this should give you an advantage over your opponent who is not using it i'm presuming that's that's my understanding now in long barrel we have the x or k enox s44 achieve the pinnacle of range with this precise barrel from the x or k superior muzzle velocity and stabilization at the cost of agility so this is more of course for people who tend to play a s slower but not campy or even maybe a campy play style for people who like to kill at range and not up close and personal now of course then you have the standard stocks you have the f tac spartan in the light stock category now in the skeleton stock we have the cr56 xo 
light stock and in the heavy stock we have the XRK gatekeeper and it does not support no stock now the ammo on this is 45 round mag extended magazines this holds 45 rounds of 7.62 by 39 mm ammunition with a slight weight increase now this is basically just extended clip basically it's just a nice fancier way of saying hey this is extended clip there you go we also got m67 10 ore mags of 6.67.62 m67 ammunition designed for increased muzzle velocity improved accuracy and superior damage also the weapon defaults to semi-auto now the second weapon i said in a previous video that was coming in season four was the vector and we actually see gaz holding it as well and that was in the video that was uploaded to the call of duty youtube channel and i uploaded here as well which was basically called call of duty modern warfare war zones the story so far or war zone the story so far which i'll actually show now it probably won't be called the vector because of copyright probably be calling it something else i'm not really sure so the attachments for this weapon are as follows long barrel you have z l or 16 inch apex heavy duty extended barrel extends muscle velocity and range to the max but hinders mobility so a larger barrel with less mobility for more for people who like to kill from range like i said about another one uh, monolithic integrated suppressor zlr 18 inch deadfall monolithic integral suppressor keeps the weapon silent and increases range for longer distance stealth assaults again good for range and doesn't seem to have any cons as of now of course there could easily be there's also a huge suppressor category named zlr saber custom extended suppressor from the zlr greatly increases the muzzle velocity and reduces recoil to help with long range precision now this is just like the suppressor that i think it's on the odin I'm not sure what it's called but i definitely think it's on the odin i've seen a lot of people on reddit talk about that oh it's just like the odin there's also it has a 40 round drug mag drum mag not drug mag with it saying drum magazine hold 45 rounds of 0 0.41 apc ammunition maximizing ammo capacity at the expense of mobility now this really doesn't make sense like how have you got a 40 round mag drum but it can hold 45 rounds of 0 0.41 apc it, it doesn't make sense to me unless you know that that's a real life thing if it is you know fair enough but to me that just doesn't make sense there's also a 0.45 hollow point 12 or mags a gun mod for lightweight single stack 12 round magazines comes equipped with a two round burst fire mode and a 0.45 acp hollow point ammunition to ensure every shot counts so it makes the gun a two round burst weapon and makes the gun do more damage there's also two other weapons coming throughout the season four of Call of Duty Warzone. A sniper called XM109, which is also called the Rytec AMR in game. And it's basically just the Barra 50 Cal from the previous Call of Duty Modern Warfare games. And the last weapon is the AN94, which has always been primarily a Black Ops series game uh gun just like the galil so it's going to be interesting to see if this feels like black ops ones like the black ops guns or are they completely different um now the an94 was in black ops 2 and it was an assault rifle and it was very very good and of course there were other uh weapons that kind of shun better or showed that they were better like the ma which was a four round burst gun 
But this weapon was still good and it was still fun to use and everything. You could still do good with it. I remember using it for a good while with the MA as well and those things just shred it and they were still really, really good. Now the maps that are coming as well are Scrapyard and Broadcast. Both of these are actually in Call of Duty Modern Warfare Warzone where Scrapyard is called Boneyard and Broadcast is actually TV station and everyone knew Infinity Ward were going to add Scrapyard because it was leaked ages ago that they were gonna and when people noticed it was in Warzone they kind of it made sense to bring it back into the game itself as well. Now Broadcast is actually a Call of Duty Modern Warfare, the original Modern Warfare game or as most people call it Call of Duty 4 or COD 4. This was actually a campaign part where you had to get in there and I'm full sure it was to shut down the transmission. Now the third map is going to be called Oil Rig which lots of people have been saying it's going to be the one from Modern Warfare 3 which is Offshore. Now this is definitely not one of the most popular ones as you had better maps like Sea Town, Dome, Arkadin and many many more. And the other two maps that are going to be coming are Garden and Harbour. Now no one knows what these are as of now of course and that could easily change. I'd say these will probably be ground war maps. Well at least Harbour I feel like will be. Now there are also gunfight maps. These are Townhouse, Drainage, Trench and Train. Now most people are saying townhouse is going to be the clean house mission or that kind of part of the whole uh, campaign where you had to get into a terrorist cell house and either kill some of them or kind of uh, capture some of them. Like it, it was really really good and it was by far probably one of the most I'd say for people who are more kind of in tune with everything that has happened with like uh terrorists and everything like that this is probably one that kind of i don't want to say it hit some nerves but it was one that was like oh my god this is actually like this is a serious thing you you actually don't know if this is going to be in your town or not and it was pretty it was pretty crazy to find out like that they've actually put this into the game and it just shows what people that are like SAS or Marines or any of them have to go through on a daily basis if they are out in a foreign country or even in their own country. Now with the operators we see that Kyle Garrick, Captain Price and another operator who we do not know and we also see a dog beside them. So we could see the dog maybe being Riley just like from Call of Duty Ghosts which would be kind of cool and it'd be kind of like a nice little nod to uh, Riley being kind of quote unquote back and I think most people would actually like that because loads of people like Riley and I think it was a pretty cool thing to add to a Call of Duty game to have a dog as your companion and as a kind of a playable character in Ghosts. I thought it was really cool anyway. Now in the game files there's actually a load of operators and one of them is actually called Woods which is leading people to think that the next one to come out, the one beside Captain Price and Gaz in the kind of promotional for season 4 is actually Woods. However I think this is more that it's actually Sergeant Frank Woods. Now the operator is not Sergeant Frank Woods, that's going to be a complete... A different person but I think because there's someone in the game files and most people have been saying this as well that Woods which could lead us to think that Sergeant Frank Woods from the Call of Duty Black Ops series we could see him back we which we could easily see Woods being in a season of Call of Duty or even in for a limited time when the reveal for the next Call of Duty game happens now for anyone who played Call of Duty Black Ops 4 and played the blackout part of it knows both Woods and Price were in the Battle Royale or the blackout part of Black Ops 4. So we could see the Black Ops characters coming into Warzone now because we know that there's going to be a whole Warzone is going to be changing every year that it's going to be the one constant thing to 
basically bring all the universes together. It's kind of like they're doing a Marvel kind of thing where basically you have Earth and everyone's on Earth more or less kind of thing. And it'll be pretty cool to see how Warzone really turns out and everything like that. Now finally we have new game modes coming to Warzone. The first one is Jailbreak which is everyone gets out of the Gulag at a certain time. We also have Team Deathmatch which seems just to be kind of 50v50 on Verdance which just seems absolutely crazy. Of course it could be uh, 75 versus 75 either because you have what 150 players or something like that. So it'll be, be fairly crazy to be honest. Probably be one of the biggest ground wars that Call of Duty have actually done. And finally we have Juggernaug which is Juggernaug care packages or packages come into the map and you can actually get these just like you get a loadout drop. Now of course once you are him or a Juggernaug I'm presuming you'll actually come up on the map that you are a Juggernaug and people will kind of like try and stay away from you or try and kill you and it'll be pretty impressive. You'll be slow with a big fucking fuck off machine gun and it'll be interesting to see but yeah that is it guys this is the end of the video guys i hope you did like it if you did please hit the like button right beside the like button there should be a subscribe button beside that there should be a notification bell that you can click to stay up to date whenever i upload to the channel or whenever i go live on the channel which is rare speaking of live streams i also live stream weekly on my twitch channel link to down in the description below uh, once you're there you can hit the follow button and you can hit the notification bell to stay up to date whenever I go live on my Twitch channel. I also have a Twitter that I manually update every week whenever I upload a video or whenever I go live on Twitch or even when I'm just giving my opinions on something or retweeting or liking stuff. Uh, link down in the description below to that as well. And you can hit the follow button there. You don't have to hit the notification bell because I know personally the notification bell kind of doing that is just so, so annoying. But yeah, that's it guys. Hope you like, favorite, and subscribe. And peace.